Hey guys, how y'all doing today? It's uh, the time is here, and uh, for today's um, stories, uh, we're going to go t uh, differently. Instead of going to be talking about Barry today, we're going to talk about my, my nephew uh, Charles Williams. He's deceased. Uh, two days ago was his birthday, and um, and to celebrate him, I'm going to um, talk about the, some stories that we've had that we shared together. And um, also, because of his birthday, I created a uh, playlist for him. If you're on Spotify, it's called Charlie's String. Uh, Charlie's String. Um, those are all the music that uh, I think that he would have liked, and that's the music that we shared together. And uh, it includes some um, hits from the 80s, from the 90s. Um, there are some fast tunes, there's some slow tunes. It's a lot of rock, rock and roll. So, um, but uh, Charlie was a—he was a dancer. He loved to dance, <laughs> just like his mother, uh, just like his grandmother. <laughs> so he—he he, he loved to dance. Uh, we would go to the club and we would shake our butts. <laughs> we beat the girls too, but, but he—he was a—he was a, a social butterfly. And he he loved to love to dance and uh, loved to have a good time. And uh, so we. We, we share some times together and um, I just wanted to celebrate him with these uh, quick stories. And uh, uh, Charlie, he's been my, uh, uh, he's, I call him number one. Uh, why? Because we're, we're, Star, we're Star Trek fans and, we're, and we love Star Trek and, uh, and we, um, we linked just like that. So, um, so, um, just like, uh, um, Picard and, and he's, um, uh, Riker. So I call, uh, Charlie <laughs> number one and he, he accepted that. And so that's why I call him number one. <laughs> so, um, the first story, uh, Charlie and I, we, um, he's been to Paris before Paris, uh, France, and he speaks, uh, French. A little bit to you know to you know, he went to Catholic school and, and he's had some um, opportunities to learn French. His French was much better than mine. Uh, I had um, French in public school, <laughs> and to tell you the truth, his 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 French was much stronger than mine because mine was non-existent. But uh, um, we uh, did go to on a fashion tour, and this was in about 1998. And we uh, were uh, in Paris, France, and uh, we were in uh, Musée de Louvre, or the Louvre, but I call it, that's the way they call it in France, Musée de Louvre. And uh, we were um, in one of the buildings, and uh, one of the buildings, this was um, um, a really walled off place. It was um, Louis the Fourteenth. Leopold, uh, Leopard, Leopold, uh, the the king, and um, we were in his um, his study. Uh, actually, it was it they had it walled off. It was kind of like his uh, dining room, and I was taking pictures of it. So I was taking pictures, and I thought I was, you know, I was doing my good. You know, it was a it was a it was a uh, Kodak Instamatic camera. You know, with a paper. Thing. you know, I thought I was, the, I thought I was doing pretty good. And then what happened? Click, click. And it goes, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> the walled off area. And I'm like, I need my camera. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, let me go over there. He said, TJ, don't do that. <laughs> Cause it was it. Cause there were alarms everywhere. I would have went over there. The gendarmes would have got me and it would have probably <laughs> treated me like a king, <laughs> a Rodney king. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I said, don't worry, don't worry about that. Um, let me talk to the security guard and see what I can do. So uh, he's, he went over and, and, and talked to uh, the security guard in French, and they were able to um, understand each other. So what happened was one of the security guards um, turned off the alarm, and he went into the room, and I got my camera back. And I said, thank you. And uh, so that was one of the times when Charlie's came to my rescue. And I said, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so we had a great time in Paris and he loved it. So, um, and uh, as I say, Paris, 
Paris is one of his favorite places to be at, and uh, he's cremated. And one of my goals is to be able to go back to Paris and to take some of his um, his ashes, um, so I can spread on the the Seine, the River Seine. So he will always be in Paris um, because he loved Paris so much. We've been to Paris, the hotel in Vegas, but that's not the same thing. It doesn't smell the same way either. Because there's no dog poop all over the floors. But that's another story. Second story um, involves um, uh, Charlie. He's, um, Charlie was good with his hands. He worked uh, construction. But also he was a drawer also. And he could draw a lot of stuff. He's, he's done a lot of uh, drawings for buildings. He's, uh, he did um, dresses. Um, he, a skill that he has been learned from his mother. Um, and he's done cause heavy construction. He's, I mean, he's done a lot. He did stuff for boats and, um, I'm in my home right now and, uh, Charlie, um, constructed this drawing, um, for us back in 2002. So every time I come into my kitchen and see what he draw out for us, um, and, um, it was, um, so every time I see this, it's just a reminder of him because he, it was his concept to open up our kitchen and, um, and I thank him for it. Um, um, you know, he was paid for it also for his time and, you know, and I don't mind that because, um, he was, he's very good. Uh, so, um, I would say thank you very much, Charlie, for that. And then the, the third one, <laughs> this is. Uh, Charlie, like I said, we're Star Star Trek fans, and uh, we would, uh, and I wanted to get a, a uniform because back in the eighties, it was the well, nineties, it was kind of hard to get a Starfleet uniform. Um, so uh, I was able to happen upon a, a pattern uh, for Star Trek uniform for uh, you know uh, like the Star Trek Two with. Um, uh, as a captain with, uh, cause I love that outfit that they had, uh, for Star Trek II, the Wrath of Khan. And I, I like that, the, um, the, the way the uniform fits. And so I had found a pattern for, it. and so I said, Charlie, can you make this for me? So I went and bought the pattern and he said, okay, well, uh, let me go and get, um, you no, know, I went with them and, he, and we went to, Joanne's, Joanne's fabrics to do, to get all um, the fabric, and, uh, and I said, okay, this will be need. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, TJ, no problem, I got you. So, um, it'll probably take me about a week, and I will get it to you. Uh, that was in uh, I think that was in 1990, and I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> I never got it, never got it. <laughs> I, I think, I said, Charlie, um, where's the fabric? Oh, I had to use it, but I'm still working on it. Okay, this become a this had become a running joke. Okay, where's the uniform at? So, he would, he would, uh, he's very good, but he's very slow, and I'm still waiting. And I guess now it's going to be an eternity because he's he's deceased now. So I guess I had to come to the realization that I'm not getting a uniform. I'm like. And, but that, that's but that's how how it is now. One last uh, story was uh, we went to Las Vegas. Um, if you haven't, we've been to Vegas like about three four times. If you haven't seen uh, the Vegas scam uh, involving Charlie and my other nephew Pooh, it should be up here. Okay, somewhere up here or down here. Um, check out that link to that story. And uh, so you'll enjoy that story also. Um, but um, this last story, we will go to, to um, um, the Star Trek experience uh, that was in, at the Las Vegas Hilton. And um, we were at um, the experience and uh, we uh, had a chance to meet some of the Klingons. And... Uh, <laughs> We had a good time meeting the Klingons and this one, um, uh, we had a Borg there. <laughs> it was a Borg, uh, it was a, he was an actor, but he was really good. And he was just in the, the Borg thing with the light thing. He was cool as heck. I was like, all right. 
So whenever we come to Vegas, Pooh will get the, the uh, Borg to, to chase Charlie. <laughs> Charlie was at <laughs> one time. <laughs> he said, oh, uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> and, uh, and the Borg said, nice to meet me. What? I had a female. <laughs> you need a female for that. <laughs> <laughs> the world child is like, no, 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 I didn't mean that. <laughs> but uh, that was uh, that was hilarious. But um, that was that was Charlie. He was uh, uh, he was a good guy. Uh, uh, he he loved life, and we had a good time. And uh, it's kind of a kind of a shame that my number one's is gone now. So I, um, we love to travel. We've been to. I mean, he was my travel partner. I mean. We've been to Paris. Uh, we've been to um, Vegas a lot. We've been to uh, Atlantic City. We have been to uh, San Francisco. We went to San Francisco for the Exotic Erotic Ball. That's an experience. That's an experience. <laughs> um, then we've, you know, we've been to. Um, I went to London by myself, but. Uh, we've been to Paris, and we have been to uh, Ireland. Uh, we did some touring of Ireland. We did the we did the Rings of Kerry also. So anyway, that was my number one. So that was my story about uh, number one. Also, um, Barry uh, he was Barry was with us also, and uh, Charlie went with us to the Ocean City trip. There, uh, this story about that up here. Is, well, just look on my channel. You'll see those stories also where he uh, he took the car in. <laughs> anyway uh, so there are some stories that are linked to Charlie as well so uh, hopefully you guys have a chance to uh, listen to those stories so you can understand what's going on with him and also check out the uh, Spotify playlist Charlie uh, Charlie string uh, Charlie and then string um, just search for it I uh, hope you enjoy this this um, this um, this story about him and, and the kind of person he was. He was a great guy, you know. Uh, he could cook, too. Uh, one of our favorite movies. Uh, he got me introduced to uh, uh, a couple of movies. I think the one movie that we, we loved, we saw together, was... Um, um, oh, man. I can't remember. But anyway, you guys take care. Have a great day. All right. Um, enjoy. Live, laugh, learn, and work hard. Okay, bye-bye.